Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Freddy Santiago and for today's video I will be creating a romantic dinner date because it's that inevitable time of the year once again when love is in the air and everyone is feeling in love. It's called Valentine's Day and I don't understand why. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully I get to finish um, editing this video and upload it in time for your Valentine's Day with your loved one so you have something to try. So without further ado, let's get cracking. First things first, skincare. I will begin with the vitamin enriched face base. Followed by the vitamin enriched eye base. And finally, lip balm. Then on the skin, I will begin first with color corrector. And then followed by this concealer stick. On the foundation, I will be using this one from Hourglass. As it is a dinner date and you will be sitting quite up close to someone, you would want to Keep your foundation natural looking unless you want to give an impression <laughs> yeah man dessert <laughs> this foundation is perfect for that because it gives a natural sheer finish especially if you buff it out but then again that's foundation for you even if you're wearing even if you're using a full coverage one if you really buff it out and you apply it little by little you can still make it natural looking because i've always believed in in makeup that 
it's always good to start with little and add as you go along rather than to take out what you already put in there. So that's the foundation buff down. Onto a bit of face sculpting, I will be using this stick foundation from Bobbi Brown. And then I'm going to buff it with this foundation brush. And then a tiny bit for nose contouring. Just because I can and I want to. So that's the face sculpting done and I'm not going to powder yet because I want those two wet products, the foundation and the stick foundation to merge and settle onto my skin. Although I'm going to set that stick foundation with this bronzer from Bobbi Brown as well. Now on to eyes, I will begin first with this black eyeliner from MAC and I'm just going to massage that on my lash line. And then using a pencil brush, I'm going to smudge that. So this is a very good smoky eye look and you could already stop in here if you want to because that's already a look. You just have to be very careful that because I use a cold liner, you have to make sure that before you apply that eyeliner, you've taken out any greasiness on your lids or you apply an eye primer first if you want to do this look because that will guarantee that it wouldn't smudge, it wouldn't budge, and it would stay in place the whole day. 
Then onto eyeshadow, I will be using this one here from MAC. I'm not sure if they still do this, but the color is very common. You can find it in NARS or Kiko. Or if you have a naked Urban Decay palette, I'm sure there is one that is very, very similar to this. Just going to pat that over. Really building the color. There you go. Then using a fluffy brush, I'm going back in again with this bronzer. You could use whatever coat eyeshadow you have as well. But since I already have the bronzer, I will be utilizing it. And I'm just going to softly blend the top of that eyeshadow. But I'm not blowing it out. I still want to keep the color concentrated on that lid. But I want to soften the edges of it. And then using another MAC eyeshadow, this one is called Mulch. I'm not sure if they still do this, but the color is very, very common as well. You can find it, I'm sure, in NARS, Kiko, or, you know, if you have the Urban Decay Naked Palette, there is one that is very similar, I'm sure, and I'm going to apply it with my finger. to create a bit of texture. You could you could totally totally ignore this one. Going back again with this pencil, I'm just going to create a series of dots just on the outer corner of my lower lash line. And then using the same pencil brush, I'm just going to smudge them very very lightly using the same flat brush that I used earlier and whatever eyeshadow is left there I'm actually gonna take off a bit of it as well I'm going to smudge that as well on my lower lash line There you go, and that's the eyes pretty much done. Of course, I will still be doing mascara and false lashes, but that's the eyes pretty much done. Now going back to skin, I will be using this powder from Hourglass Fast. For blush, I will be using another one from Hourglass, but this is not an Hourglass sponsored um, video. <laughs> On the lashes, I will begin with this eyelash curler first.
and then mascara. So that's my lashes done with my trusty Divisoria lashes applied and now I'm going in with this black eyeshadow. You could use whatever black eyeshadow you have. To be honest, it's not really brand conscious effort. And using a tiny flat tip brush, I'm just going to press that along the lash line just to conceal any lash glue and this is very important especially if you're wearing false lashes on a dinner you have to make sure that those lash bands are seamlessly blending on your lash line with your own eyelashes Now on the brows, I will begin first with this brow sculptor from Strokes. and then this brow fixer and then I'm going to fine tune it with this brow painter There you go. Now I will try to replicate that on my other eyebrows. Alright, so that's my eyebrows done, looking like they're sisters. <laughs> on the lips, I will begin first with this lip pencil from Bobbi Brown. I don't know if you can hear it, but my tiny neighbor is in full swing again, so I do apologize if this video comes with a bit of strange noise because he's very loud. <laughs> And finally, for lipstick, I will be using this Lux Lip Color in Uber Nude from Bobbi Brown as well. And there you have it, a romantic dinner date look for you to try for your Valentine's date with your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, friends, or even with yourself. Remember, you don't owe it to anyone to look good. You only owe it to yourself, and whoever loves you will welcome that as a bonus. 
Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I love doing it. Any suggestion for my next video is always welcome in the comment section. And I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, give this channel a follow, and hit the notification bell so you will be updated with my next video. Also, feel free to follow me on my socials over here. And with all that said, I hope to see you again on my next one. Always remember, stay in love and be kind to yourself. Bye!